Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. Um, today we are talking about my new telescope, the Meet 10 inch. I bought it used from Olaf, thanks to Olaf. And uh, yeah, I will give you first hand information about my experience with my first Schmidt Cassegrain and what I found out for me and uh, what is here very special after I came from a Richie Crate here and I also will show you how I collimated this device. I used a tree button of mask instead of uh, just going to a star and defocus, but more in my video. I hope you will enjoy it. Clear skies. Here we have the Meet ACF 10 inch F10 telescope, which I bought used, as I said. And uh, first of all, I tried it uh, with my EQ6R, but uh, I found out very quickly that uh, the EQ6 can't uh, be uh, that that much weight of my uh, of my meat. 10 inch. Uh, it's just too heavy with, with the camera attached and the guide scope. So I've chosen the uh, SAM70 for that purpose and uh, it runs well. This uh, telescope comes with a far point uh, support here where I attach my uh, guide scope on it and it also comes uh, together with a an, an diamond steel track. Um, for manual focus or for automatic focus. So I have chosen the automatic focus option. I attached uh, with a piece of uh, 3D printed plastic device the uh, ZWO uh, autofocuser system to it. And I, I think that's, uh, that's a very useful part here, especially this uh, 3D plastic device. Uh, that was uh, an easy, easy task to do. Um, yeah, and uh, when you don't know about Schmidt Cassegrains, um, the thing is, uh, there's not much to to collimate <laughs> when you come from, like me, from a Richie Chrétien. They are just these three uh, um, screws here, which you have to. To move to get into focus and um, when you read about how to achieve focus with uh, Schmidt Cassegrain they usually say go and uh, yeah check on a on a star and uh, go extra focal and uh, then uh, look look for the donut you achieve and and put the the center uh, of of your secondary mirror right into the middle of, of the donut. Um, for me it was uh, not an easy task, so I decided against that and uh, have chosen this one. Uh, three button of mask, which uh, gets attached here. And um, the, the beauty is here, um, you can align those screws with marks here on the, on the three button of mask and um, that helps a lot because the three button of mask uh, gives you three single images in a, in a star and um, you just have to align those three single stars uh, following each of the three screws. That was uh, very easy to manage, it just took me a couple of minutes and then I I finished uh, collimation. It was absolutely necessary, which I will show you later on. So guys, here we are talking today about the Meet SCT telescope. <clears throat> um, the SCT stands for uh, Schmidt Cassegrain Telescope and uh, ACF stands for Advanced Coma Free. 
and Canada Optic I will explain in a, in a minute. So what I bought is a 10 inch F10 um, Schmidt Cassegrain telescope from a friend of mine, Olaf. And uh, that was just some, I think six weeks ago. And he used that telescope mainly for planetary imaging the last five years. So yeah, um, here we are. Let's have a quick look at the design of the telescope. Um, so what we have here is a clear picture of 254 millimeter, focal length of two and a half meter, F10 therefore. And um, the uh, telescope has uh, two, two yeah, knobs on the back. One is for moving the mirror forth and back uh, on the bevel. Um, and the other one is for fixation. So the movement of the mirror is for, um, for focusing, for raw focusing, I would say, because I use a second focuser attached at the rear of the uh, tube. Um, and that is a Bada diamond steel track focuser. Yeah. Um, my initial questions for that device, because I had no experience so far with the uh, Schmidt Cassegrain system, um, what back focus distance should I use um, from the SC thread backwards? Um, some say 85 millimeter, some say 105 millimeter. Um, that was a little bit irritating for me. And uh, then I wanted to know what size of a Bevel tube the system had. Um, I couldn't find out, probably no. And uh, which screwdriver do I need for the collimation screws in the, on, the, on the front uh, of the telescope? And uh, I'd had to dig very deep into several astro forums and there were several opinions. And finally I found out I need this device. I had to order it from Amazon. Um, it's a seven slash 64 inch type uh, um, uh, screwdriver. You can see, I mean, uh, that's not often used in Germany. So um, after I found out I could could collimate my, my telescope. Um, but have a quick look at the design of the telescope. Um, as I mentioned before, that's an uh, ACF telescope, which we deal with here. It means advanced coma free, and we see now how they achieve the coma free. Before we go into that, let's have a quick look. So that's a tube. Yeah. Um, and uh, so uh, that's a primary mirror. <clears throat> what you see here, there is a hole in the primary mirror. That's a baffle here inside. Um, and uh, then we have the Schmidt plate here and there. And then in the center of the Schmidt plate is the secondary mirror. And uh, in comparison with a normal uh, Schmidt Cassegrain type, uh, these ACF types have an hyperbolic secondary mirror. You can see that it's bent outwards on one side uh, that's uh, convex. Uh, and uh, that that reduces um, um, coma. Um, and the Schmidt plate, the, it has an aspheric design, reduces uh, spheric elaboration. And when you are not familiar with higher order aberrations, I uh, put here a chart uh, where you can see that's tilt, <clears throat> that's, uh, that's astigmatism, uh, both axes, horizontal and vertical, and that's uh, defocus. And then now we come here in the next Zernike terms, uh, higher terms, um, which are, uh, this is trefoil, this is coma, that's coma again, and that's trefoil again. And here we have the Zernike four order, uh, which is very collaboration. So we have to fight against all of these aberrations. And uh, this is what they, the meat guys did with that telescope. Um, the primary mirror is just a spherical one but the secondary mirror is a hyperbolic one and the corrector plate is also of aspheric design to reduce certain higher orders. But what about the focal plane? Where is the focal plane here in that system? That's one of my questions. Um, basically, I 
use the raw focusing system on the uh, so moving the, the 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 primary mirror forth and back until I got a, a decent looking star with my Vatinov mask, and then fix it with a second screw on that system, which was very helpful because then the uh, primary mirror can't move anymore. And then with my uh, the fine tuning, the fine focusing was done um, <clears throat> with the tri Vatinov mask. Um, I can show you here now pictures on the left side. This pre-collimation, so that is out of the box collimated system, which was not not perfect. Um, and then when I used the button off mask, the tri button off mask, I achieved a much better uh, collimation result. So um, for all of you who are not so used or not so happy with the result when you collimate your your telescope with an uh, extra focal um, star where you see the secondary mirror inside the primary mirror which creates usually a black hole and the black hole is not perfectly centered in the middle of that donut. Um, I had always trouble to see that perfectly centered. Um, for me the tri button of mask is a more useful and more precise and accurate approach. And now we are coming to some results. Um, as a matter of fact, I used M13 as a test object and uh, you see here already uh, that was another surprise with the schmidt cassegrain My focal distance was not two and a half meter, but 2815 millimeter. That means um, I'm far out. That's because of the uh, um, BADA system, the BADA focuser which pushes me further away from, from the, uh, from the uh, native focal plane and therefore my, uh, my focal distance increased. What you can see here is um, I measured in, uh, in pixel inside the median full width half maximum value which was 13.5 pixel per star, per average star and that is a uh, magnification of uh, of those stars and you can see those stars are round shape but probably not perfectly centered and now let's have a look at the collimated system. Um, this is the same picture, same quality, same size and uh, we went down from 13 pixel per star down to 7 pixel per star and you can see that also in the magnified um, parts here. Um, when you look at these two separate stars and they you can distinguish them easily where here it was more one one big big dot so to say. Now my second question was okay I've collimated my meat um, I'm now happy with that. Uh, everybody says an RC if you manage it well and it's nicely collimated which is much more tricky than here with an SCT um, gives you a better picture. So I checked in my old files uh, if I have a picture of an uh, M13 and I found one and uh, this is a picture of the RC. It has a focal length of 1600 millimeter. That's a little bit unfair to compare this with um, with my 10 inch but whatsoever um, when you when you look at the stars um, they look almost uh, identical I would say even uh, the meat looks a little bit better. Um, so especially here, those stars here, they are more blurred, but okay, you have here an 8 inch compared to a 10 inch. That's not 100% fair, but this has shown me that um, the meat 10 inch system is not inferior to an collimated RC system, I would say. I mean, uh, that's my baseline. And uh, that was finally my, my first result. I was uh, photographing the fireworks galaxy NGC 6946 and uh, it came out quite nicely I would say. Uh, not too bad for a start. Um, I hope I could help you a little bit or um, give you some ideas uh, about my my experience, my first experience with the meat 10 inch. I know um, meat is discussed uh, not always in a positive way. Um, 
yeah especially you guys in the US yeah you have some some issues with with me what I what I read from uh, from the forums but uh, my experience so far is uh, is a good one and uh, I like my meat I will do much more and I will now use my uh, reducer in that system and uh, hope it works bye bye and uh, wish you clear nights cheers